This is Air Canada Rouge, one of Canada's major leisure airlines. Last year, I flew with them in Premium Rouge, but this time I'll be taking a flight on one of their A321s in economy to find out how they're like. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So right now, as you can see, I'm at Montreal Studio International Airport, and today I will be flying on Air Canada Rouge down to Florida. So firstly, let's get checked in and then let's go through security. The check-in process was smooth and the staff was nice. We then went through security and customs because Montreal's airport makes you go through customs here for flights outbound to the US. Now being airside, we had about 2 hours to spare until boarding so we went ahead and grabbed ourselves some late breakfast. We went to Starbucks and I don't know if it was because it was late morning but most of the food on the menu was out of stock. So just keep in mind if you think of coming to Starbucks in the transborder terminal in Montreal's airport, the Starbucks might not be fully stocked. Anyways, I enjoyed my wrap and then our plane showed up. To kill some time until boarding, I went ahead and did some plane spawning and I saw this white high fly A340. After waiting 30 minutes more than we were supposed to, boarding was finally called. For today's flight, my seat would be 16A. I settled down and took a quick first peek at my seat. Thirty minutes later, we started pushing back for a three-hour flight down to Florida. Today's flight would be taking me from Montreal's Trudeau International Airport down to Orlando International Airport. We departed 39 minutes late and arrived 8 minutes late. The total flight time for today's flight was 2 hours and 47 minutes. Now that we were finally in the sky after a slight delay, I took a deeper look at my seat. In front, in the seat back pocket, was the safety card for the Airbus A321. The tray table was a decent size, could pull back and was clean. When we look at the legroom, it was way better than I expected for Air Canada Rouge. Maybe it's because I'm not that tall, but either way, I was expecting worse. My bag also fit perfectly at my feet. The seats padding was also not that bad and so was the recline. Honestly, Air Canada Rouge seats aren't that bad. So, the flight attendants just gave away some little snacks. They give some food for free, but I'm surprised because I thought that Air Canada Rouge had to pay for everything, but it doesn't look like it. After finishing my bag of pretzels, I went to check out Air Canada Rouge's in-flight entertainment. First thing I saw was the option to purchase the onboard Wi-Fi and free texting for Aeroplan members. At the top of the IFE, I could see the remaining duration of the flight and the weather at destination. When I scrolled down a bit, I found the moving map, my personal favorite. Now, Rouge's Entertainment. Air Canada Rouge had a pretty decent selection of movies, shows, and kid movies. Honestly, Air Canada Rouge's in-flight entertainment is pretty good. It wasn't long before I got hungry again, so I looked at the bistro menu to buy myself something to eat. It required a lot of choices, but not everything was available. At first, I was going to have the peppercorn roast beef sandwich, but I ended having to get the Carolina Gold Barbecue Chicken Wrap because my first choice wasn't available. The chicken wrap was still pretty good. To drink, I got myself a complimentary Coca-Cola. When I had finished my wrap, I went to check out the loop. So now I'm in the loop, as you can see. So 
There's like one hour left to the flight, so let's check out. When I looked around, the loo was pretty clean and I had plenty of room for my head. The loo is surprisingly clean because the flight's almost done. We're probably starting our descent in like 20 minutes. And yeah, honestly, so far, I really have no complaints about Air Canada Rouge. They fit great. Seriously, I don't know why people hate up that so much because they're really not that bad. After I got back to my seat, it wasn't long before we started our descent into boiling hot Florida. If you're enjoying the video, a like and a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. It's so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're finally here in Orlando's airport. So after a three hour flight, so honestly, Air Canada Rouge isn't that bad. I don't know why people hate on them because they're really, honestly, they're great. I don't know why people hate them. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.